So welcome to my solar update for March 2023. So what's been happening this month? Well, mainly the clocks have changed now, so you can really tell that the days are getting longer, especially in the evening where it's lighter for longer, so we're generating more solar energy. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb, and the Hypervolt EV charger. So here we have the month of March, 401.3 kilowatt hours in total for the month. Uh, a very average, uh, kind of month. I actually thought March was going to be better than it actually turned out to be based on the last week of March when my uh, solar panels were installed in March 2022. But the worst day of the month was 2.2 kilowatt hours on the 9th and then we had a 3 on the 5th of March and then a 4.5 on the 28th of March. So with those being the kind of three worst days to be honest it probably wasn't that bad don't forget we had 31 days in march so the average uh, for the march day was 12.93 kilowatt hours per day which is not too bad but we did have a, quite a few kind of lows at the beginning of the first sort of 10 days of march then we had a good sort of four or five days then it went low again for sort of four or five days then up again for kind of four or five days and then sort of all over the place a good day bad day good day bad day so i did expect it to be slightly better than it was um, based on kind of previous months so how does that compare to well other months as we've not had a full march yet uh, the blue line on here is last year in march which was just the last week of march um, because that's when the solar panels were installed so now we've had a full month of March uh, and it was as I say 401 kilowatt hours uh, where February was 347 and January was 243 so you really do see a kind of a ramping up but if I'd drawn a straight line uh, between January February and carried it on to March I would have expected if it was in a straight line to be about 450 uh, but it wasn't it was about 400 uh, especially when you see kind of april's uh, last year which was 730 so a massive increase there so we'll just have to see uh, what happens next month with april to see how that compares with last year's now that i'm actually going to have a full month to compare with going forward so how do we use all this power well some of it was used in the hypervolt ev charger and here we've got the month of March, and that was 429 kilowatt hours went into the two cars, uh, the iX3 and the i3. Uh, some of that obviously was paid overnight on Octopus Go on a cheap rate tariff, and some of it would have been through solar uh, during the daytime as well, topping up the cars. Slightly lower than February, that's uh, where we peaked at 483 compared to 429 so a little bit less in March going into the cars overnight and what we've thought about actually doing is as the sun gets uh, even stronger and we're generating more power during the day we've actually started to think about swapping cars so that one is used as one stays at home during the day and one is used for work uh, instead of charging it overnight on Octopus Go probably uh, using one car and then bring it back the next day to probably be top it up on uh, solar and then take that car the following day. So there's uh, always a mix and match of cars going out, which should hopefully bring down the cost of charging overnight. So where else have we used the uh, solar power? On the eddy to heat the hot water. So we've used a little bit more this month, 13.6 kilowatt hours on the eddy in March. Uh, it's nice to see the eddy being used a bit more actually to top up the hot water either sort of uh, well in the afternoon really uh, when the heating probably hasn't been on so yeah some little spikes there uh, from the eddy 
So I'm going to start using this more and more and more. Certainly when we turn off the heating, um, we'll just let Eddie and the solar heat the hot water. So next up, the uh, export. So how much have we exported in March? And we exported 84.44 kilowatt hours. Uh, as you can see, that's been increasing since we started off in January with 29 and then 64 in February, starting to go up as we kind of get more and more uh, energy and we've just got nowhere for it to go and then the export kicks in and we get paid a little bit on uh, octopus go not very much uh, compared to say rates of flux and things like that a go only gets 4.1 pence per kilowatt hour at the moment if we look at the export through the month of march um, there are a few peaks second of march was 12 kilowatt hours for some reason that was quite high and then eight and nine on the 23rd and 24th of march and then 13 on the 27th so they were kind of the uh, the top days although some of those days at the beginning as i said which were were pretty bad for a soda production obviously we exported uh, next to nothing so how much electricity have we imported from the grid well in march we imported 554 kilowatt hours that's the total of octopus go overnight on cheap rate and the daytime full rate as you can see that's come down slightly uh, based on other months similar to november now uh, used a little bit more through the winter months but i think it's just because we're generating a little bit more solar now so we just don't need to uh, use as much overnight we're not using any really during the daytime rate just that little kind of ramp up and ramp down that you always get uh, but otherwise most of it has been overnight so we must obviously be charging um, the cars up a little bit less overnight i would think but we'll have a look at the breakdown between the go uh, how much we've used in the daytime as well so during the month of march it's been fairly consistent uh, day by day for how much we've actually used probably less uh, during the weekends or when we've been able to kind of uh, work from home and not use the EV as I think most of our power as you probably know uh, is used overnight on the cheap rate for the EV and for charging the battery so some of the evenings we've probably um, not had to charge the battery as much now as well even though I've always been topping it up in March to 100% what you've what I've been finding is that it's not as depleted as it used to be because we're not starting to use it at kind of when it gets dark at 4 p.m we're not really using the battery now until it gets dark at kind of I don't know six o'clock maybe in the evening so those extra couple of hours are being left in the battery overnight so there's less topping up to do Although I've just started over the sort of early sunny days of April, in early April, to actually uh, only charge to about 40% overnight as opposed to a standard 100%. So another important metric for me over this winter has been the battery shortfall, just to see if the battery runs out uh, from 8pm till midnight 30 when normally the Octopus Go starts charging the battery again on cheap rate. So... During the month of March, we used three kilowatt hours and at 40.1 pence, that equaled one pound 27. So it looks like we didn't need to dip into uh, importing electricity from the grid in March much at all. And the battery did seem to last us throughout the night for the whole month. So the overall uh, figures for March 2023 as billed by Octopus Energy. So on the grid import, uh, Day rate, we used just over 13 kilowatt hours at 40 pence per kilowatt hour on Octopus Go, which equaled five pounds 32 pence. And at night, this is where we use most of the electric, mainly for charging the battery and charging the EV. 540 kilowatt hours at seven and a half pence, which gave us a total of 40 pounds and 56 pence. Of that overnight 540 kilowatt hours, if I look in the Give Energy uh, dashboard, it looks like the grid to battery was 181.89 kilowatt hours. So that kind of tells me how much went in the uh, battery overnight. So if I subtract the 540 uh, from the 181, it gives me 359 um, left over. So that means really that 359 went in the cars, uh, went in the car overnight, should I say. 
359 times 0.075 or seven and a half pence uh, is 26.93 for the cars for the month. If I take 40 pounds and 56 pence and I minus off the 26. 93 that gives me 13 pounds and 63 pence so i think 13 pounds around that is actually what went into uh, the battery uh, over the month and the rest was kind of the 26 or 27 pounds nearly was what it went into the ev and we exported a total of 84 kilowatt hours in march at 4.1 pence which equaled three pounds and 46 pence so if we take the 4588 from the import and subtract the export, the £3.46, that leaves us with a total for the month of £42.42, pence, including VAT that we spent on electric for the month. So this includes running the house, um, some of the hot water, as you see through the eddy, and charging uh, the EV one of it for everyday use for work and the other one would have come from sort of some would have had some charging through solar as well for the gas yeah i like to include the gas just to, so i have a mental note of how much i've actually been spending so the full month 31 days of march we used 2110 kilowatt hours of gas at the 10p rate which was the price uh, guarantee rate 225 pounds and 89 pence this month on gas so let's have a quick look at standing charges gas 26.84 pence a day times 31 days in march eight pounds 32 the electric was 37.65 pence a day times 31 days is 11 pounds and 67 pence so in total the electric which was 42.42 plus the 11.67 gives us 54 and nine pence and the gas 225.89 plus the eight pounds 32 gives us 234 pounds and 21 pence both those added together 288 pounds and 30 pence in total so that was march 2023 not an amazing month but okay hopefully next month in april we'll see a massive surge in uh, solar generation but tell me how you got on in March and what your generation was like. I'd be interested to know. But thanks for watching. Um, give the video a like if you did like it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you soon.